This is Melanie M. I'm from the American Council of the Blind, or ACB, and I think that the other, you know, there's, I'd like to elaborate on, on Fred's last point a bit, because we're, we're not trying to just be um, difficult to get along with when we talk about wanting to encourage rather than just allow the sharing of books. Um, <clears throat> the, the problem that we face is, is very simple and that's one of resources. Um, there are not that many entities that produce books in alternate formats or accessible formats and um, it's, it's highly unlikely that even given the best most ideal uh, provisions that that number is going to grow by leaps and bounds in the grand scheme of things and the, and part of the reason for that is that um, lots of people don't even know how um, if they were interested and frankly it's been difficult for our community to get that many entities interested. We're, we're fortunate in this country and even in um, much of the EU there's a lot there's a fair number of entities that do it but there's um, there's not enough and um, <clears throat> those that do often operate on very limited budgets with much of their work being done by volunteers rather than paid staff. So our concern is making it possible um, that to to not um, not dissuade those folks from continuing, and to hopefully increase the number of entities in the places where they're where they are currently insufficient. Um, and so that's that's the really the bottom line reason why we have wanted to keep things as simple as possible so that um, people wouldn't worry um, so much about what all would be involved in trying to um, to provide greater access to books. So I think um, I think that's that's the primary thing that I'd like to add at this point. <clears throat> 